Oh, the taint. Oh my God. In the trailer? From the future. Subscribe to me if you want to live. Deadpool and Wolverine. As you guys know, I'm a giant nerd. I've been a gamer since I was four years old. I remember the first X-Men trilogy. And then I remember X-Men Origins where Ryan Reynolds made his debut as Deadpool and shamed the character completely. However, he seems to have fully redeemed himself by pushing and pushing and getting Deadpool to the big screen uh, in a rated R fashion. And we all thought with Logan in 2017, Hugh Jackman was done with the character. And honestly, I respected it. I respected it a lot because most people, they go too far, too long for money or pride, and they kind of ruin a role like Rocky six. It looks like Ryan convinced him somehow. I'm sure a bunch of money was involved to get back in the gym, get big to be Wolverine once again. And I'm looking at the still he's wearing or of the classic blue and yellow of the Wolverine character. Although he is huge and I know comic book animated Wolverine is little, he's this little guy and Hugh Jackman just isn't, but we forgive it because he's Wolverine dude. He did a great job for years and years over a whole bunch of movies. So I always enjoyed it. Just for anyone that didn't know, I always enjoyed Wolverine, the X-Men storylines, and I've liked Ryan Reynolds since waiting. So I know he can carry the raunchy character of Deadpool. So let's just check out this trailer. We're going to look at it. I mean, I'm here for the culture. Another for the Freethinker Reaction Series. If you're new here, my name is Jeff D. I host ThoughtCast. Freethinkers Rebellion Live, gaming streams and news streams over just on Rumble now. If you like this content, comment that you do so I know if I should do more of it or not. Like, subscribe, all the cool stuff. Let's check it out. I told you, you're not welcome here. You're not welcome anywhere. Now get the fuck out of my bar. Just give me one more drink and then I'll leave. Hi, Peanut. I'm gonna need you to come with me right now. Yeah. <laughs> lady. Dude, that's awesome. For one, uh, I love how Logan would be there with the healing factor going rampant against the alcohol consumption. So he might get, I mean, he might get kicked out because they know he's a mutant or he might get kicked out because he's been drinking for so long. They're like, bro, you're cut off. Either way, for Deadpool to come in, high peanut, that's amazing. Now get the fuck out of my bar. Just give me one more drink and then I'll leave. Hi, Peanut. I'm gonna need you to come with me right now. Look, lady, I'm not interested. <laughs> All right, well, I'm sort of on the tick tick, so upsy daisy. Here we go. Oh, whiskey dick of the claws. It's quite common in Wolverines over 40. You don't want this. Unless you want to take a deep breath through your fucking forehead, I suggest you reconsider. Oh, that's so great. Whiskey dick of the claws for Wolverines over 40. So obviously this is an aged Wolverine. They're, they're setting us up. We know it's old Wolverine and he was leaning into the shot. So he's not exactly in the best place probably right now in this universe, but is he ever in a good place? I don't know. Your fucking forehead. I suggest you reconsider. I'm about to lose everything that I've ever. Yo, he's kind of got the shoulder pads. He's got the shoulder pads, that yellow, that, that whole silhouette with the hair. I mean, they're really going for it. I'm about to lose everything that I've ever cared about. Not my fucking problem. Is that what you said when your world went to shit? Come again. This Wolverine let down his entire world. Oh, the taint. Oh my God. Dude, I was not ready for the, whoa, in the trailer. Jesus. All right. So he's 
explain it like I'm five. He's from a different world. We'll keep going. But I'm shook right now. Higher world. Want to talk about what's haunting you, or should we wait for a third act flashback? Uh, go fuck yourself. Life is a mystery. I don't know anything about saving worlds, but you do. I hear you call Trust me, kid, I'm no hero. You were an X-Man. Like you were the X-Man. Soaking wet right now. Boys are so silly. How much of it is it just them fighting? <laughs> like, it's, is there any of it where they're working together? I don't know. That's so funny, though. It's just them, like, kicking each other's asses the whole time. I know they would have had so much fun actually filming this, truly. Boys are so silly. This is what I'm talking about. Just like a dream. Big slow motion action sequence. Who knows if you live or die? Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Yeah! Okay, so they're definitely like crossing over different Marvel shit. I mean, it looked like Ant-Man's face was lifting up. This looks like one of uh, the little spiral magic things from Doctor Strange. I mean, we got some, some cool incorporations across it. And Deadpool, usually they, well... I believe the first one they were doing on a pretty modest budget. I'm sure with how successful they've been, it's it's like crazy now. This level of passion for source material from Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, the whole Deadpool verse, it it really lends itself to content that they actually like, that they actually wanted to put out for the fans. This is a series for the fans. So I respect what they're doing. It's not a freaking activist lecture. It's usually just funny and gross and amazing. I respect it. Fucking go. Want to do some cocaine? Hey, cocaine is the one thing that Feige said is off limits. What about Bolivian marching powder? They know all the slang terms. They have a list. Even snowboarding? Even disco dust. White girl interrupter? Even forest bump. Do you want to build a snowman? Yes! I can't! Bro, <laughs> LFG! <laughs> like I said, they just, they, they go where they want to go. It's going to be funny. It's going to be action. It, it's probably good. It's probably going to be good. So I don't really know much about the world they're saving. Who's the, the true villain? Trust me. I'm not like an expert in the lore of X-Men and like, oh, in this universe of X-Men and this comic 50 years ago, this person showed up and looked this way. I'm not that, I'm not that committed. Okay. Like I played the, some video games. I remember playing the Super Nintendo X-Men with my uncle. I remember playing X2 Wolverine's Revenge, which was my jam on PS2. Come on, dude. In the comments, who was here for X2 Wolverine's Revenge? That was the shit. And then I played Origins, which was a pretty good game. The movie was okay, but the, but the Deadpool sucked. So I'm glad Ryan Reynolds reinvented the character more in the image of the actual comic with the language barrier removed i mean this is definitely quite rated r even in the trailer i don't know if i should put it should be implied this is a rated r situation doesn't matter whatever that was fun it was cool i'm excited i'm married i have five kids i don't even know if and when i'll ever see the movie but the trailer entertained me greatly 
So if you like this kind of content, please like, comment about it, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. We're out.